Dear Softball, thank you for being an outlet to help me get through the struggles of everyday life. Thank you for giving my family an opportunity to see the rewards of my hard work and dedication. Lastly, I would like to thank you for my coaches, teammates, and the many relationships you have introduced in my life. I will forever be grateful for the doors you have opened. You will definitely be missed. Love you always, Gail. Dear Southwall, I was extremely blessed when given the opportunity to use my talent and share my passion for something that has had such a tremendous impact on my life. There is so much to say, but so little time to say it. No other words come to mind besides thank you. Thank you, Southwall, for the countless memories, the laughs, the bruises, the lifelong friends, the sunburns that leave me with bad tan lines, the failures, the miles on the road, and the life lessons you have taught me all along the way. My high school coach always told me that I had to fail in order to succeed, but I never quite understood what he meant. It wasn't until I got here when Coach Meeks always told us that this game is a game of failure, that I finally understood what they were trying to teach me. In life, you will fail just as you did in the game, but what matters is how you recover from it. In a game, if you throw a ball, you are about throwing a strike the next pitch. If you allow the other team to get a hit off of you, you worry about the next batter. If you make a bad grade on a test, you study even harder for the next one. When you do not get the promotion you were looking forward to, it doesn't mean you should quit or give up. You have to keep working for what you want in life. Through the game, I have learned that nothing is given to you and it is not going to be easy. And I could not have realized that without the help of my coaches, friends, family, and teammates. First off, Param. Thank you for letting me walk over anytime and put ruts in your yard while you called me as I took my very first steps on this journey. Coach Cody and Coach Pat, thank you for guiding, pushing, and allowing me to learn how to begin to love the game as I do now. Coach Mike and Coach Ryan, thank you for being such great mentors and being with me as I matured with the game. Mr. Lenny, thank you for molding me into the picture that got me to the place I am now. You will forever hold a special place in my heart. Mom and Dad, I cannot put into words how thankful I am that you guys have dedicated this period of your lives to help me fulfill my dream. You guys have followed and supported me nonstop throughout this ride, and Hunter, thanks for letting them drag you along. Looking in the crowd of fans and seeing you guys there brings me so much joy, knowing that all the dedication and time put into this sport has paid off. This journey definitely would not have been the same without you guys there. To my other family and friends, the constant support from you guys meant more than you will ever know. To Coach Meek, Sparks, and McKinney, thank you for growing with me and sharing your knowledge of softball and life with me. I have appreciated every second of my time with each of you, and I cannot come close to expressing how grateful I am for you three. To my teammates, Noah, Landon, and Gio, you all have made this so memorable, and I would not have wanted to tackle the days with anyone else. I love you guys endlessly. My time here has been an experience that will be with me forever. Thank you, Pearl River, for letting me call you home for the last two years. Once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Pearl River Row. Dear softball, where do I even start? First off, I'm so glad that you're not a person because there's no way we could be friends. No, but seriously, you have impacted my life in so many ways. Throughout my journey of being a softball player, you have blessed me with so many lifelong friends that I will forever cherish. You have taught me so many lessons that will help me become successful in life. Sitting here on this bus, all I can think about is how I only have a few more bus rides. I faced so many adventures on this good old bus, from early morning naps with a seatbelt stabbing me in my back, to late night talks with some of the best teammates and managers I could ask for. It's so crazy how God works in our lives. Softball, you have helped shape me into who I am. You have made me sentimental, emotional, tough, mentally strong, and spiritually strong. You have helped me build my relationship with God, and that's by far the most important thing that you have done for me. 
I cannot thank you enough for that. Throughout the years, you have shown me that you are much more than a game. Not only do you teach me life lessons, but you show me what love is. Through the good days and the bad days, you've gave me a reason never to give up. I remember my first college practice. You rocked my world. I thought I was ready, but buddy, I wasn't even close. It is so hard being an emotional person and playing this sport. Being away from home and not being able to come home a lot has made me realize how thankful and blessed I am to have a family like I do. From Mother's Days to Father's Days to birthdays, my family was always there. A thousand other places I'm sure they'd rather be, but they chose you. You should feel pretty special, or I mean, I guess I should. I could not thank them enough for all the sweat, tears, and money that they have put into my career. I want to say a special thank you to all the coaches and people that have helped me become the player that I am. To my PRCC family, thank you for making me feel at home. You have helped me find the love for the game that I was missing. I look to you all as my second family. My goal throughout playing was to impact the lives of people around me. I have prayed to God many a times to help me help others. I hope that throughout my journey, I've helped someone through something in their life. To my young girls, it's just a game. Don't beat yourself up too bad for failing or not performing as good as you wanted to. Like my dad always says, if it's meant to be, it'll happen. If I could go back in time and change something, I wouldn't. Softball, thank you for the ups and downs. You have helped me become the person that I am today. My days as a softball player are coming to an end, but you'll always be a part of who I am. It is time to start a new book because you've taken too many chapters. Love always, Caitlin Rose Passa. Dear softball, I fell in love with you so many years ago. You have been my teacher, my motivator, and my best friend for the past 13 years. You've taught me that nothing in life is going to be easy. You have molded me into the woman I am today and given me some of the greatest memories. You showed me that growth is necessary to achieve my goals in life. I want to thank you for always being there for me no matter what and for giving me an outlet for my stress. Thank you for giving me teammates who have evolved into family. Through, through the people I have met, I have learned to love myself for who I am. I will always appreciate you for humbling me. You have shown me that no matter what mistakes happen on the field, it is still a game, a game full of adversity. I hope that you keep finding girls who have a dream, a dream to escape reality and become a part of a much bigger picture. Softball, I owe you the world and more. Lastly, I would like to say thank you to my parents for always believing in me and giving up countless of weekends to be at the ballpark with me. Thank you to the people and coaches that have helped me get to where I am now. I am extremely thankful for Coach Meeks, Sparks, and McKinney for giving me this opportunity. Love always, SJ. softball. Wow, what a ride it has been. I honestly don't even know what to say or where to begin. To write this letter is to recognize that I'm in my final days of being an athlete and it is a bittersweet feeling. Little did I know that when I picked you up for the first time as a five-year-old girl that you would have impacted my life the way you have and for that I thank you. Thank you for giving a little girl a hobby that would later turn into a passion. You taught me at a young age that if I wanted to be great at something, I had to work for it day in and day out. You taught me to be selfless, tough, and dedicated. Over the years, you have given me some of the greatest highs, but also some of the lowest lows. You have been my escape during tough times and a remaining constant in my life. I haven't always treated you like you mean everything to me, but you do. There have been times I have taken you for granted, especially at those 5.30 a.m. workouts. You have brought me some of the greatest friends and memories that I will cherish forever, so thank you. Most importantly though, thank you God for allowing me to be a part of something much bigger than myself and giving me the opportunities that you have. I can only hope that I've impacted others along the way 
that leads them closer to you. Also, thank you to my parents who have sacrificed countless hours of driving me to and from practices and games, spent tons of money on making sure I had the equipment I needed, always loading the tea for me, and giving me the utmost love and support even when I had a bad game. Thank you to each of my coaches who have been a part of this journey with me and helped me get to where I am now. Coach Meek, Sparks, and McKinney, thank you for pouring your knowledge of the game into me and always pushing me to be my very best. I have appreciated every moment I've had here playing for you guys. Lastly, to my teammates and managers. In 20 years, I won't remember the home runs we hit, the double plays we turned, or the strikeouts we had. However, I will never forget each of you. Every one of you have impacted my life in your own way, and I will always love you. Softball. I pray that you continue to touch the lives of young girls and inspire them to be the best they possibly can be. I will forever be indebted to you, and whenever I get the chance, I will try to give back what you gave to me. You are the reason I am who I am today. You created a strong young woman who doesn't flinch at the sight of adversity but thrives in it. And whenever life gets hard and knocks me down, which is inevitable, you will be the reason I stand back up and keep pressing on. You show me that sacrifice, passion, and dedication can take me wherever I want to go in this life. So I will. Once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Always and forever, Sydney.